So now we can get back to uh, seven if you want. Um, sure. There, There is a little bit of a shortcut here. Maybe I should show you. I don't know. Um, yeah. You're going to keep making that comment isn't on later. Like, isn't it like a three times seven? Would that be the only one? Well, yeah. I mean, that that's that's the that is that's kind of that's not really the shortcut the shortcut is to diagonally multiply here but we'll get to that i don't know if we can do that or not um we'll, we'll see if we have time for for okay. now though um you know th this is this is nine over 21 this is minus seven over 21 what does this become U over 21. Over 21. Yeah. All right. So your number 10 is correct. So why don't you, why don't you um, grab the whole row here? Um, why don't you work out the next four and let me know your answers as you go. You mean like 9, 11, 12, 13? Yeah. Yes. Yes, exactly. Okay. And 10 ten, is already correct. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So for number nine, I got six fifths. That's right. Two fifths plus four fifths becomes six fifths. Yep. Good. Number twelve, I got seven fifteenths. Yeah. You mean for you said for eleven? Yes. Yeah. Eleven. So the so the double negative though, it's it's you're gonna add. Yeah. Um, what is your common denominator? Um twelve oh wait for eleven? Yeah. Thirty. It's thirty. So that's 27 plus 30. So it should be 57. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I'm I'm looking at this wrong. Shouldn't it be like um what what did I know? What what's going on here? Times three times three. Well, nine times three is twenty-seven. Should that be right? right? Yeah, yeah. So this is fifty-seven okay. over sixty. Sorry, okay. over 30. Sorry, 57 over 30. And this does reduce. Okay. So. I'm sorry. I, I, I've given you the wrong one. This is 25, not. not okay. I, I'm really messing up here. It is uh, It is late. So this is, so this is yeah. 52 over 30, which does reduce. Okay. So twenty six over fifteen 
That's right. You got it. Okay. And then did you get 12? Um, I believe so, yes. Oh, wait, no, wait, hang on. Oh, that's, I had it all right. I just didn't read from 11. I read from seven. I'm not sure why. I I'm tired, but, uh, so I had okay. it right. Yeah. 12, what's 12? <laughs> um, wait. Um, so, wait. Seven. Would it be seven over twelve? They're both negative, so you keep the sign oh, and then you add the numbers without the sign. So yeah. thirteen over negative thirteen over twelve. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Okay. Let's try another row of these. Um hopefully we'll clean up some of the stuff. I know you mentioned you're tired. I apologize for the late last night. I was just booked yeah. up already for most of the day and uh, couldn't get to you sooner. But um yeah, do your best here. I'm gonna also have these uh these answers ready to go. Huh? Any questions or do you need me to check any before you move um, on? So... Okay, so for number 13, I have negative 11 over 25. Uh, yeah, for the first one, yes. Negative 11 over 25 is good. For the second one, I have negative 11 over 45. That is also correct. And then for, the, for 15, I have Negative 13 over 60. Good. And I haven't gotten to 16 great, yet. Great, great. Doing awesome. Keep keep it up.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, that's right. Night. So I got negative nineteen over thirty-two. I'm not sure if that's right. Uh well you, you sort of right uh did you get minus nine plus 28 yes i think the bottom the um denominators were yes yeah, it's, it's it's uh i got 32 and it's good yeah well it's 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 36 i mean four times nine is 36 oh well, yeah like well yeah i guess it would be right it's true. So that's what I got wrong. So 19 over 36. Okay. All right. Any questions on that? No. All right. So we'll look at we'll look at 17, 18, and 19 individually. Um there's there's a bit of a shortcut to finding the least common denominator. It's it's typically so if you if you're like really stuck you can always multiply the three bottom numbers together which which I don't recommend I mean that that's three hundred that's not the best answer you typically try pairing them like five times six six times ten five mm -hmm. times ten and you, and you start with the smallest one mm -hmm. and hopefully the smallest one works like does thirty work for for ten yeah it yeah. does and that's that's sort of the shortcut. It's not completely perfect, but yeah, it will help here uh, with that. So go ahead and give that a try for the first one, and uh, we'll uh, we'll compare answers here in a moment. Okay. Okay, so I got 14 over 15 for 17. That is correct. Very good. For uh, for number 18, I'd like you to first tell me the common, the smallest, the least common denominator before you proceed with actually working it out. Yeah. 20, I believe. It is 20. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. So try that one, please. Okay. So I got negative one over 20. That is correct. Okay. All right. So for number 19, uh, same thing. Go ahead and see if you can figure out the uh, least common denominator. Mm -hmm. You can always multiply all the numbers together, but that should be a last mm -hmm. resort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. 
24, right? Uh, yeah, 24 is the right one. Good. Okay, so um, I'll be Negative 25 over 24. You got it. Good job. All right. So I think you I think you've got that down. Um well, well if we got time, we'll maybe do some more, but that's that's mm -hmm. really good. Um I think initially you had some issues with the signs, but that all got worked out. Mm -hmm. All right. So for number 20, um we it it's it's probably going to be some sort of an add, subtract, multiply, or divide. And since we've been mostly doing addition and subtraction, it's probably going to be addition or subtraction. So, yeah. um, why don't you uh, see if you can set this one up? Would it be subtraction, right? Yes. Yes. It would, it would be like seven eighths minus two thirds. Yes, you got it. All right. So give that a try and. Uh, See what you come up with. Okay. So five twenty fourths of a mile left. Yes, very good. All right, you're getting the hang of this. So, okay. Uh, on to the mixed review, I guess. Have you tried any of these problems or any, any, um, uh, I, okay, if you haven't, I'm just asking. The, uh, circle the greatest and the smallest. Hang on. Cross um, out the least. Yeah. Circle the greatest and cross out the least. Um, so let's, let's so just label A, B, C. Is, um, a is right, sorry, it's B. Um, okay. um and the least is D. Which one? D. D like dog? Yeah. Okay, agreed. You have to, have to cross that one out. <laughs> I would have circled it. Um, um and then I got it. For the next one, so I they're really asking for the the plates value of that digit. Well, no, there's number two, isn't there? What there is? is. There is. I uh, I went way by that. <laughs> All right, sorry. Go ahead and work on number two. I'll get snipped in. Would it be thirty-eight? 
So divisible by two, I'm sorry, divisible by four means that you can divide it by two twice. So you have to be able to divide it by two and then take that result and divide it by two again. So 38 divided by two is 19. Okay. Can you divide that by two? So 45 divided by two. You know, no decimal either. Okay. Mm -hmm. That one, that one. 30. So 32. 32 is the only one. Yeah. And then I got right. plus 70. 70. Good. Good. All right. 24. I'm sorry, four. We did some like this last time. Uh, if you need an example, I can give you one. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't have this one, so yeah, sure. All right, so let's say it's 12 times some number equals it's six. Yep. If you were to if you were to divide both sides by 12, what would that become on the right? Um, six twelfths. Which reduces to one half. One half. So if we go okay. back to the original problem, it's 12 times one half is 12 divided by two, which is six. Okay. So you're basically going to divide both sides by this this number here. Okay, so you should do it. So you get. And then you have to reduce the fraction. Okay. So. Not. Not. Um, oh, wait. Huh. Um, so I asked six divided by twenty-four. You can always start with two. You know, does two divide both of them? And then if it works, yeah. try it again. If it, so if like it doesn't three, work, then try maybe try three. So like three, sorry. Uh that becomes three twelfths. Okay, and then does that divide, can you reduce that? Are both no. of those numbers divisible by like three, for example? No. Yes. Oh, yes, wait. They are? Oh, yeah, they are. So one fourth? One fourth, good. There's your answer. Okay. All right, so I reset here for number five. I'll, I'll try to explain this. They're saying it's really, it really start over here. Yeah, would it be eight and two? Eight and two, yeah. That's good that you're able to do that so quickly. Yeah, that's really good. Um, the hexagon has you want the end, certain, right? Uh, you're just counting. Don't uh, oh. hex is. This, this is a stop hey. sign, by the way. Okay, so which one is it? Hex is what six. Six. Okay, so, so it's the second one from the, so it's like the, so you have, yeah, that one. Okay. Yeah. All right, for number seven, these are not the same answer. And if oh, that okay. isn't clear, just, just try yeah. to. Yeah, so the one, the second one would be negative nine. Yeah. And the first one would be nine. Or... That's correct. Good, well done. Really well done. I give that to college students. They have no idea what I'm talking about. So. Yeah. All right. The next, one. the next three here. Um, I would recommend. So the first know, one is equal. I agree. And just, just you know, if you're not sure, I'll I'll write out the way to. Yeah, the next one these. is the uh, I believe. So one towards the point four repeating. So that'd be the greater than, yeah. Yes. And the next one would be less than. What is well, before we answer that? What is fifty? What is a hundred percent of fifty? Fifty. Okay. What is ten percent of six hundred? Um, sixty. Okay. Right. Right. 
So I'm sorry, what symbol goes in there? The less than. Yeah, there you go. All right. Any chance you know what you have upcoming this week or what your next homework assignment may be? No, but I believe it's going to be multiplying and dividing decimals. I would agree. Fractions yeah, I would agree. I would agree. So. All right. And and so you you actually did this last year, but let's 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 talk about it, multiplying fractions. It's just like you multiply the like them together. Well, you should pre-reduce if you can. Okay. Do you remember that concept? Sort of, but like like the three and the nine can be pre-reduced. Like okay. the, what you don't want to do is multiply across. Even though this one works out nicely, um, you you really want to pre-reduce, okay? Mm -hmm. And and if and if you're uncomfortable, you can switch the number order. Like this this can really be three over nine times six over four. It's okay to move the numbers around. Mm -hmm. You'll still get the same answer. Yeah, you'll still get the same okay. answer. So, um, like three and nine divide both by three, six and four are both divisible by two. Okay, and that, and then the threes cancel out, and you end up like getting you get one times one, one times one two, half. one half, which is the same as eighteen over thirty-six. Okay. So if you can pre-reduce, you should. Okay. All right. So let's try another one. Let's say go fifteen over eight times uh, four over twenty-five. Okay. Give that so a try, please. So 15 and 25 going to divide by 5. You're right. 15 divided by 4 is... So yeah, so that would be 3 and that would be 5. And... Three tenths. It is three tenths. Very good. Okay. And so some other things you'll see here are, um, where uh, they throw in some like signs. So it'd be like, like minus nine over five times yeah. uh, 20 over six. Okay. Give that a try, please. Okay. So, uh, how So, one six reduce to a three. Put them there. And divide each by five. One two. One e divided by five. Four. Um, okay, that's right. And then. So I got six over one. What about this negative here? Oh, so negative six over one. Which is negative six. Okay. So don't 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 uh try to not um you know, miss yeah. that. They can also put the negative wherever, like it could be like negative eight over uh yeah, you'll still let's like go uh you know, let's go uh 
sorry, I'm trying to think of numbers that work out here. Let's go negative eight over 25 times uh, 10 over negative four, something like that. Okay. So go ahead and give that a try, okay. please. Okay. Okay. Two. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Not really. Two. 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 Four fifths is uh, yes, that is correct. Yep. Very good. Okay. Um, now you'll also see some problems where you get three fractions, mm -hmm. and you can still pre reduce. You can still, you see something that cancels, you can, yeah, you can cancel. Like the uh, so give this cancel, one a try. Threes cancel. Right. Okay. So three three so it just equal two? Uh, well, these negative cancel, two? and you're left with three halves times negative one. Mm -hmm. So I get negative three over two. Oh, yeah. But wouldn't all three, wouldn't all of the threes cancel? No, 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 it's it's one for one. If it's on the top and the bottom, okay. it cancels. Okay. So, okay. So that would be negative right, so three. Let me, give, let me give you another one to try. And then we'll switch to a uh, division. Okay. So here's another one. Negative 27 over 8. Okay. Uh, any questions on that one? No. All right. Um, you said, I'm sorry, you said negative 27 over 8? Yes. That's correct. Okay. So the with division, let's say it's 5 ninths divided by um, 10 thirds, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, it this this becomes it, it always becomes multiplication by what's called the reciprocal. Mm -hmm. The oh, reciprocal so it's like the is, is the flip. So you never divide. The point of, of this is that you never, 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 never divide. You always change it to multiplication by the reciprocal. And then you do exactly what we've been doing. Okay. So then it would just be gonna that can be doing it. So then three over forty five. Uh, yes, uh, but that reduces. 
Okay, so what? Fifteen? Or no, sorry. One yeah. over fifteen. One over fifteen. Yep. Okay. Now it does it does it, you don't always get you don't always get cancellations. Okay. So one yeah. fifth divided by two thirds becomes one fifth times three over two. There are no cancellations here. There's no pre-reducing. Okay. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes it does. Okay. Okay. So let's try a couple more here. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go five sixths divided by three fourths. Give that a try, please. Okay. So six over sorry, fifteen over six. Uh well that does reduce, but I think you, I don't think you flipped it. I think you flipped it something else. Um because uh, couldn't this the six and the four reduced by Yeah, that becomes three and two. Times two. And five times two is ten and three okay, so ten ninths. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now another thing that could happen here is you can get some fractions like negative one half divided by uh eight over negative eight over nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this again becomes negative one half times nine over negative eight. Okay. And so this time, there's no pre reducing, but you still have to deal with the signs. Negative one times nine is negative nine. Two times negative eight is negative 16. It becomes nine over, over 16. Okay. So let's try another one here. Let's say it's negative four fifths times, uh, I don't know. 10, 10 over 12. Okay. Give that a try, please. I'm sorry, divided by, oh, that was really bad. I almost forgot what we were doing. Because it, because it all becomes multiplication, so it doesn't really matter. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, so I'll just so I got negative twenty four over twenty five. Very good. All right. Can we stop here? Or do you feel like you need more practice tonight? I feel like I'm good. Okay. All right, we will uh, we will stop here for uh, for today.